Welcome to the tutorial Smoothing Lines. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Smooth Editor to smooth out any bumpy or irregular lines you might have made while tracing some of your drawings. But before we begin I'm going to do a clean trace of the punching bag. I'm going to do this fairly quickly because I wouldn't mind some intentionally shaky lines. I can demonstrate the tool. So you can find the smoothing tool under the contour editor tool. It's the second uh, tool in the list. And what you're seeing now are all the control points. Um, this one happens to have a lot because I didn't, uh, I didn't have any smoothing on in my brush when I was drawing these lines. So it's full of irregularities, which is what all these points are here. Um, so the first option you have in the tool properties panel for the smooth editor is the type of uh, cursor you'd like to use when doing the smoothing. So you have three types, the brush, the marquee, and a lasso. So let's look at the brush, which is the first type. Uh, just like a regular paintbrush, when you're painting, you have the option of um, your minimum and maximum brush widths, as well as your smoothing. And of course, these things will affect the smoothing. Um, when you're trying to smooth a line, it's often better to make a brush that's actually wider than the width of this line here. So here's a smooth, you can see it's actually smaller. The width is smaller than the, the, the paintbrush stroke that I used to create this line. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Both ends. See as I go over it, you see automatically points are disappearing, which means the line is becoming smoother. And you can also up the smoothness. See how much of a difference that makes as well. So you can do the same thing with the marquee. You can make a square selection and automatically it smooths. And you can also do that with the lasso tool to do a more specific selection. And this comes in handy if you're doing, say, the face of a character and parts of it you want smoother, parts of it you want to stay kind of square and rough. It's good to make a very um, precise selection with the uh, lasso tool. So this uh, button here is what actually turns off the control points. So if you find it distracting as you're smoothing, uh, it'll still smooth as you see without these control points, but this allows you to see sort of a visual reference of how the smoothing is happening. So that's the control points there. And you can actually change the color of these control points by double clicking on the, the color swatch here and then selecting a different color uh, from the list. So you can change the color quite easily. So that's pretty much it uh, for the tutorial smoothing lines. Uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial working with text.